Welcome to LIFM. This is my Chainer Dementia Master EDH deck. It's a reanimation deck with a sub focus on life gain and life loss. The deck runs 38 lands. So, Reliquary Tower, of course, no maximum hand size, Volras Stronghold, Vesuva, which is normally just a second coffers, Bazooka Bog for graveyard control. Strip Mine for Trouble Lands, Cabal Coffers for everything else, Mikoro, and Crypt of Agadim. It's uh, it's similar to Coffers, except it uses black creatures in your graveyard, but it also taps for black mana by itself. I run 30 basic swamps in the deck. I like this art a lot, so I, I just chose to make them all this art. There's only two instances in this deck. Eye Blight's End which I'm probably going to replace with Murder. Though this works pretty well, I don't face a lot of elves in our playgroup. And Tendrils of Corruption. There's 14 sorcery in the, in the deck. Demonic Tutor. Profane Command, which works really well in this deck. Whether to uh, reanimate something or make someone lose their life or kill a creature. I have never used it to give my creatures fear, but the other three abilities are pretty good. Exsanguinate, my opponents lose life, I gain life. Drain life, someone or something takes damage, I gain life. Consume spirit, same thing as drain life, just better. Corrupt, does X damage to a creature or player, and I gain that much life. X, of course, is the number of swamps I control. Temporal Extortion is just someone's losing a lot of life early game, or I'm taking an extra turn. Or they're losing a little bit of life late game, or I'm taking an extra turn. Beacon of Unrest, it's one of the ways I uh, reanimate things. I can, I can reanimate artifacts or creatures from any graveyard. Ashes to Ashes. It's an oldie, but it's a good card. You can remove uh, two non-artifact creatures from the game, and Ashes to Ashes does five damage to you. Mutilate to reset the board when things aren't working out your way. All is Dust is the same, except it deals with uh, things that black can't normally handle, which are enchantments, of course. It also deals with Planeswalkers. Decree of Pain. Expensive board wipe, but it can draw you cards, or you can cycle it and kill token armies at instant speed and still draw a card. Plague Wind, it's an expensive board wipe, but I like the card. So it's in the deck. Kill and Wave, people are either paying a lot of life or they're sacrificing creatures. I know some people think it, you're giving your opponent too many options, but it kind of goes in, on theme with the deck. And this is EDH, like you're supposed to have fun. I only run two Planeswalkers in this deck. Liliana Vess, which I use mainly to tutor. And Karn. Again, he helps deal with things I can't normally deal with, such as enchantments. Expedition Map, which almost always gets coffers. Or Vesuva to copy coffers if I already have it. Sometimes it gets Reliquary Tower or something else, but... The two main cards are Coffers and Vesuva. Elixir of Immortality, when I just need to reset my graveyard. Greaves, mainly to protect Chainer. Crystal Ball. I know a lot of people like to run top, but um, I don't. It's a good card, but I just... I like the ability to put the cards at the bottom of my library if I want to. So I run Crystal Ball. Mimic Fat, I kill a lot of creatures, so if I can uh, borrow them for a little bit, I appreciate that. Lash Rite, it's normally at least a 4 4 creature if I have it in play with a uh, living weapon. Cage Sun, 
make all my swamps tap for more mana. Bitter Blossom, great early game to keep people off my back. Phyrexian Arena, keep cards in my hand. Necropotence, keeps cards in my hand. Gravestorm, keeps cards in my hand or keeps cards out of someone's graveyard. I target who needs to be targeted. Subversion, it's kind of just a, an annoying card that like people are losing one life. I, the bigger the game though, the more life I gain from it. Underworld Dreams. Same thing, another annoying card, but it's been sitting in my binder for years. And putting it in this deck is a, is a reason for me to use it. So I threw it in. Grave Pact, if I lose a creature, everyone loses a creature. No Mercy, because sometimes you just really need to show no mercy. When a creature does damage to you, destroy it. Black Market for mana. Grave Robber. Great card. It's uh, Graveyard Hate and uh, Reanimation in all in one. Withered Wretch. Graveyard Hate. Big Game Hunter. Get rid of big creatures so I can reanimate them later. Fleshbag Marauder. Get rid of creatures so I can reanimate them later. Vampire Nighthawk is a great, great blocker early or late game. Solemn gets me lands in black, which I don't really have a lot of options, and draws me a card when he dies. Sangromancer is a recent addition to the deck. I put her in there uh, just for another small creature that can uh, potentially gain me life. Coralash might be coming out of the deck, but for now it it's normally it's a big fat creature with regeneration. Magus of the Abyss kills creatures so I can reanimate them later. Phyrexian Obliterator. This guy is probably the ultimate defender. When he's on the board, people do not want to attack into him. And when he attacks, people do not want to block him. And the bigger the creature they have, the more they don't want to do either of those two things. He's a great deterrent. Puppeteer Clique, Reanimation, times two. Obnixilis, Bloodgift Demon, it's a targetable Phyrexian Arena on a 5 4 body. Really good card. Drana, who's the alternate commander of this deck, so I use her as a commander sometimes. Massacre Worm, he loves tokens. He absolutely loves tokens. Nurkana Revenant. Kakusho, who just got thrown into the deck. I had a few laying around, so as soon as he got unbanned, I threw him in. Inkai's a new addition to the deck. I haven't tested him yet, so I don't know how well he's going to work out. But he goes on theme with the deck by reanimating things. Duplicant, Worm Coil Engine for some more life gain, Steel Hellkite, Dread, which is no mercy on legs, the Sara, Grave Titan, Butcher of Malakar. Same thing as the enchantment. Whenever I lose a creature, everyone else has to sack a creature. Runescar Demon. And Shieldred. Thanks for watching LFM. That's been my Chainer Dementia Master EDH deck.